Welcome to my channel. I'm Zhang Jingxu. Let's look at the problem 30 in chapter 27. Chapter 27 is about magnetism. So there we have a proton, right? It is due the circular motion in the magnetic field. It tells us it will bend by 90 degrees in a region where the distance is d. So that means in order for the path to bend 90 degrees within a distance d, so the radius for this uh, circle must be the smaller than d, smaller or equal than d, right? It's just this way. So, right, this is a square. And then when you want to move 90 degrees, so this uh, radius must be smaller or equal to d. This is uh, the quantity we get. And now you need to prove the magnetic field is much larger than this term. And then another quantity given is proton's kinetic energy, right? So there we were straightforward. We can see in this term we have a kinetic energy, right? K. So we can write the K as one half mv squared. And then this uh, circular motion, this uh, charged party do the circular motion in magnetic field. So we have Lorentz force as a central force do circular motion. So EVB equal to mass times V squared divided by R, right? Now you can see from this one, you can get the function for R as MV divided by EB. And so for this one, you can see for this kinetic energy function uh, equation, you can get the function for V, right? Yes, as we talk about, R should be smaller or equal than the D. So R we consider there is MV divided by EB, right? The V we can input inside as a squared 2K over M. Reorganize it, you look at it, this one. So the term R is smaller or equal than D. So you reorganize it, you get the B is large or equal to this term. Thank you.